Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the cheesiest one of all? You are. Some bitch. You some bitch. I ain't cheesy. Oh, well, hello there. It's me, nobody. Would you like to change your name and appearance? Well, I'm here to help, my dudes. Are you looking to re-customize your character, make it look different, or just rename your name? Well, I've got the quest for you. Well, it's not really a quest. It's more of going to certain places and so playing pregnant things to get glass shards to construct your new mirror. I'm here to show you the very short quest of the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most smart assiest of them all? Definitely not me. It has to be PETA. You're the smart ass. Yeah, she doesn't say much. But it's just her movements that are smart assery. We'll talk about this later, PETA. And then talk to this guy. He likes to sell you stuff for quests. Don't you, bud? Oh, yes. I always love selling the shit I find. You want a popsicle, young man? Uh, no thank you. Bye-bye. But wait! There's more! Hey, Peter Bread. Do I look cool? I got some new armor. Oh! Well, hello there. Are you wanting to get the Rogar armor set and the weapons and fight an optional crazy boss? Well, I got the quest for you. And he is crazy. He's got some crazy moves and he will murder you multiple times if you don't watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it short and sweet so we can get the goods and try to make this into a two-part video. Hopefully it helps you, my dudes. Well, that's pretty much it for the intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Or don't because you know people are gonna do what they're gonna do. But thank you for watching. Let's go do that mirror quest. Let's go murder a god and take his armor set. Now I must warn you, someone has reported to me that by changing their name they have messed up their save file for that character. So since they changed their name and it bugged out, they can no longer use that character. So just be warned. But let's go get those mirror pieces. Just a quick walkthrough of how to gather up these mirror pieces and all the locations. It's not really a quest, it's more of a go to a place and so play a thing. So, let's get started. The first one we're gonna get is in Lower Calworth at that Vestige of Sebastian. We're just gonna go ahead and go in Umbral. We're gonna just run out this way past all the little fire zombies cross the umbral bridge ignore that guy if you want to or you can sow flame it has to do with the paladin's request quest to get the light reaper special attack but you just keep running what's that oh taxidermy hammer that's nice. We're just going to keep running up these stairs right here. Well, sh nope. Run up the stairs. Thank you. And our shard will be right here. We'll so play that thing. And pick up the glass shard. On to the next one. The next one can be found in the Revelation Depths at the Vestige of Lost Burscue. Right before the Deverla boss fight. Devila, or what, however you want to say her name. But you'll go into Umbral. And it will be right here. Oh, excuse me. You'll so play this. And pick up your glass shard. On to the next one. The final glass shard can be found in Sunless Keen at the Vestige of Katrin. We're just gonna run over this way. You gotta unlock all the shortcuts, FYI. Just keep running and clear out every enemy you see. It'll be a lot easier if you do that. Instead of, you know, trying to get it and die. These guys are super annoying. 
especially that guy. He's a dick. Now that he's dead, watch out for this doggo. He likes to hide behind there. Yes, I know, I have a lot of ammunition satchels. I played the game legitly the first time around. I will not do it for every other character. I hate grinding. But anyways, this is where you need to be. So play that for the final shard. Ow! See what I mean? Stop it, you dick! Well, that was cool. Pick up the final shard and head back to Skyrest. After you made it back to Skyrest, you'll go to the broken mirror and you'll insert all the glass shards. The mirror has been fully restored. How lovely. After that, you'll go talk to this guy. I like him, he's really cool. He's a lot taller than he looks, he's just squatting down. Talk to him, and you'll purchase the renewal knife. You can purchase it for 8,000 vigor, along with anything else you need. After that, you can return back to the mirror and change your appearance or name. Wow. Yeah, there it is. I gotta say, most of these preset characters look a lot like they're constipated. But like I said, someone has told me they got locked out of their play file because they changed their name. So, change your name at your own risk. That's it for the mirror quest. Hope it helps. Have fun. Okay, first, boys and girls, we need to go to the Shrine of Adir. And the reason why we're going to the Shrine is because I want to show you exactly how to get to this place in case you don't know. Now there are a lot of enemies in between, so be careful. You can just run past them though to make it quicker. Ow. Excuse me, coming through. No attack, please. Jesus. Bad dog. Just keep running this way if you've unlocked this shortcut. If you haven't unlocked this shortcut, that way is from Fitzroy's Gorge. And this is where you fight the Ruiner. Just keep on running. As fast as your little legs will carry you. Past all this where you fought the Light Reaper and died. And you will see a... That's not it. Just keep on running. Run past all this, all these enemies. You might want to kill a few. Just in case. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. No attack. There's the tree. I believe that's the tree. You don't stop following me, buddy. You too. Yeah, this is the tree. It says nothing when you interact with it, so we're gonna do pledge to aid here. With aim cold unerring, extinguish the blazing hands. Our next stop for second fin. After you make it to the vestige of Sworn Hill, you're gonna wanna proceed through the level like usual. You can so play the Dark Crusader stigma while you're here. Go ahead and go up the ladder. Go up this ladder. There's a lot of ladder climbing. So be warned. So we're gonna just run and run some more. Is that what that is what we're good at? 
pick up stuff along the way if you want. It's up to you. Just gonna keep running. Attack some doggos so they don't attack me. There's some archers around here somewhere. You gotta watch out for them. Bad dog. It's real fucking bad. Another stigma, but there's an archer over there facing a snipe me. Yep, there he is. Yep. Bad archer. All right, we're almost here. Don't worry, buddies. We're gonna climb up this ladder. And we're gonna just drop down here. You can see the hand up there already. This is our snowball. Go ahead and uh, equip our snowball that we just got. And we're gonna throw it at that hand to extinguish it. There we go. There are a total of five hands. So let's go get the next one. The next one you can find is when you reach Upper Tower and you make it to the arena. You run this way. Up these stairs and drop down. Roll past the zombie who blocks your path. Run this way, jump down, watch out for all the burning zombies that try to blow you up. They're assholes. I done cleared this area out, so it's a lot easier for me. There's a thing that shoots bolts at you over there, and there's a guy who ambushes you right here. You can set up a temporary vestige right here, and there's a dog right here that will breathe fire to try to burn your ass to a crisp, and then there's a infernal enchantress right here with a parasite that will mess you up if you allow it. There's a skin stealer over here, and then there's the hand just hanging out on a tree. So we're gonna equip our little hand and throw a snowball at it. Now that one's done, off to the next one. For a third hand, we're gonna start at Vestige of the Pale Butcher at Hamlet. We're gonna run across the shortcut here. And we're gonna go ahead and head this way. Into Fitzroy's Gorge. Past all these peoples. Watch out for the doggos. They can be a nuisance. Keep running this way. Kill everything you run across, cause they could murder you too. And we're gonna head back over this way kill the doggo, kill the archer up there, and there's our hand up there on that tree. We're gonna throw our snowball at it, extinguish it, and move on to the next one. For our fourth hand, we're gonna go to the alehouse. You have to get the sunless gain key in order for you to be able to unlock the door, so make sure you acquire that first. But we're gonna head out equip our crossbow because we're going to need it for now. We're going to head this way. Murder everything so they don't murder you.
We're gonna go into Umbral right here if the frame stopped dropping. They said they fixed that, but it doesn't look like they did. Go play that. Murder that infernal enchantress. Before she murders you. Run and jump before that retracts and ignore that dude and open this door. We're gonna run up the ladder here to get away from everything down there. Kill that dude. Then you want to jump down here and if the frames stop dropping, you're going to run up here. Climb up this ladder. Stop. It's bad really fucking bad make sure there's no more bad guys around here we're just gonna extinguish the hand real fast so we can move on to the final hand the fifth and final one is after you get the key from Bramus castle and this is the route you need to take Run down the stairs instead of going up. And you'll have to be in umbral form to get through the flames. Kill these guys. They'll just get in your way and annoy you. There's an infernal enchantress up here, so murder that little thing before she has a chance to attack you open the door I would use a vestige seed here just in case down here is a chest you can open for ruin and a shield but the other way is where we need to go. Run down this hallway. And through this door. But beware, there's a lot of enemies. Doggo there. I thought there was a doggo there, but I guess not. Shit! Nope, there's an infernal enchantress. There's a skin stealer out here, plus a couple doggos if I remember right. murder the doggos and then our final hand is right there throw the snowball to extinguish it and now we're ready to head back to the tree when you make it back to the tree you will use the crimson ritual fervor to summon the boss He's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Buddy. Calm the fuck down. Where'd he go? After he's defeated, you will get his armor set. And you'll go back to the tree 
and you use the laughter and you get his weapon and the armor set does look pretty cool I like it and the hammer special attack oh that's cool doesn't have a single-handed one though but still a build created for these weapons could be quite powerful indeed if this helps you, please like and subscribe. Share it to help me get out there more. And until next time, have fun my dudes. Did you enjoy this video? Consider subscribing to the main channel at Mr. Nobody Elden Souls where it's more focused on invading. Or the second channel at Nobody Elden Things where its focus is on helping and will be the main hub for invading for dummies. Subscribe to both and I promise you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching my tarnished and we will see you next time like and subscribe or i'll death blight you in your sleep this message has been approved by the mayor of froggy town <laughs>